Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. I know I have. It's been a little bit since I've recorded. I've uploaded recently though because I recorded a bunch all at once and spaced them all out. But we're back, I'm gonna do a few openings here. But today in this video I'm going to be opening up the Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. Wow, so exciting. I mentioned in uh, the last video the um target sale twenty four ninety nine for Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box and Astral Radiance Elite Trainer Box. In that video I opened the Astral Radiance and now I'm opening up the Brilliant Stars that I also got from that sale. I got one of each. So yeah, um let's get into this. I've not opened up the regular Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box before. I have opened up the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. I opened that up back when the set first came out. It was the first set that was the first one I opened where I got the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box on release. I opened it up on, um, while I was live streaming Pokemon Go Johto Tour. Which, now funny enough, in between me opening this and when I ordered it, they announced Hoenn Tour, which is going to be very exciting. So here we've got... The ETB, we've got the inside, very cool. The booklet. Let's go ahead and look at the back really quick. Shaman right there. And here we go. We got trainer galleries, we got the two Urshifus, and then we have all these trainer cards and trainer gallery cards. Very cool. And then we've got the rest of the trainer galleries, the regular ones, and the gold card. We've got the last of the rainbow cards. I actually pulled this rainbow card from that Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box I mentioned. We got the rest of the rainbows. We got all the full arts and alt arts. Very cool. Very, very cool. And we got the one full art down there. Alright. Now, enough of that. I say let's just get right into this. Shall we? I'm going to move my light a little bit. didn't realize it was so far away from me. Here we go. Whoosh. Whoosh. This one looks really cool. I think it's one of my favorite ones of these. We've got V Star Marker, nothing special. I think this is the first set with V Stars, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got these dice, very exciting sparklies. I do like the color on those. Um, we've got the sleeves, which I really like, and I actually wish the pokemon center elite trainer box came with these kinds of sleeves um the ones that come with their gold which are cool and these ones have the gold inside which i don't know if the other ones did or if that was even a thing yet at that point but i love the white it looks very nice got a code card i guess i'll show that off there you go all right we got energies no need for that we have poison damage counters, nothing special, and we have the deck dividers, which this design right here looks very basic. This is the first time seeing these. This design looks very basic, but very nice. This one, I like this one as well. I like that the gold is shiny. These are pretty cool, actually. These are probably some of the better deck dividers I've seen, but I don't really tend to pay attention to those, nor do I really use them, so yeah. But then, of course, we have the most exciting part. We have the box. Wow, what a wonderful box. So cool, so shiny. I'm kidding. We've got the packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like we got three Charizard packs. That's pretty exciting. I'm not going to change the order. I'm just going to open them up the way they came. So, let's get into this, shall we? First pack, we have the Whimsicott packs. We've got Whimsicott, Charizard, Arceus. Obviously, and Chainman Skyform. Okay, your codes are that way around. That's fun. One, two, three, four. And we've got Darkness Energy, Sinchino, Train Flop. Let me put the packs back here. We have Probopass, Riolu, Magmar, Impidim, Axew, Spiritomb. Oh, look at that. We got an Alcremie Trainer Gallery. I don't have this card. It's a very cool card. And a Clefable. I like Clefable. That's a nice card. 
happy with that. In fact, so happy with it, I will put it in one of our brand new sleeves. Wow. The sleeves feel pretty smooth. They feel, they actually feel a little bit flimsier than normal sleeves. They feel like the, the texture on them is smooth, but the like sturdiness doesn't seem too great. Maybe I'm just being crazy. I don't know. Next up, we have a Charizard pack. Very exciting. It does look like the code is this way. I don't want to spoil myself if we're getting something good in there or not. One, two, three, four. We have a Leaf Energy, Magma Basin, Hitmontop, Luxio, Burmy, Staryu, Magmar, Throw, Halucha, Reverse Hollow Grimer, and a Hollow Professor's Research. Not too shabby. We've got two pulls and two packs so far. Can not complain about that. I feel like I scraped one of the cards, but I think that was just something. Let me see if I can find it. Alright, next up we have a Shaman pack. Looks like in place of the three Charizards, because we got the three Charizards, we only got one Arceus pack. Which, not like that matters. Just the pack art has no effect on the actual cards. But, skeptics be skeptics. Water Energy, Sigilith, Hot Helmet, Luxio, Farfetch'd, Duskulls, Cubchoo, Dedene, Plink, Reverse Hollow Spiritomb, and Muff. Nothing crazy in that one. But next we've got our one and only Arceus pack. Get into this, shall we? Get rid of the code. This other code's being the other way around. Got me all confused now. I don't know what's right and what's wrong. All right, let's see. We have Electric Energy, Bear Tick, Dust Gloss, Cleansing Gloves. Uh, I was reading that right. Wasn't sure. Milsery, Nose Pass, Snow Run, Ball Toy. Reverse all of Weasel, and I've seen something back here since I opened the pack. Ooh! Nice! We've got a full art Whimsicott V. Look at that. Very nice. A full art. Definitely will take that. Cannot complain about that. I'm going to, um, yeah, I'll put it in. I'll put it in my pack order. There we go. And the pack order. Oosh. There we go. Very nice. Condition looks pretty good, honestly. Can't complain. Let me look at it in person. Not through the camera. Looks pretty good. That little bend right there is on the sleeve, I can tell. Very nice. Very nice. And we're only halfway through. We still have four more packs. This being the fourth to last. Three more after this one. Next video is going to be a pretty exciting one. So, keep an eye out for that. I personally am going to record it right after I do this one so I'm excited for it but the next video is going to be very exciting we've got a fighting energy hunting gloves executor cladal we have axu spiritum clink sneasel turtwig Ooh, another trainer gallery wow we're doing pretty good dusk noir trainer gallery and a flygon rare that's a very nice looking card. I will take it. We are doing pretty darn good this opening. Cannot complain at all. Cannot complain at all. In you go. I don't know if y'all saw um, 
a little bit of news recently in like Pokemon card space. Um, seems that the Scarlet and Violet era cards are at least the English ones are not gonna have the normal gold border like these cards have. They're gonna be silver, which is what they have in Japan. It's pretty interesting. This is the first recording I'm doing. Not the first video I've uploaded since. Oh, there you go. There's a code. Hope you enjoyed that one. Not the first video I'm rec I'm uploading since that, but the first I've recorded since that announcement. So that's interesting. We've got a V Star marker here. Nothing special. We've got a pod helmet, and oh, there's something in the pack. This is a pretty good Elite Trainer box. Ace Rollers Premonition. Claydol. I remember that card. Ace Rollers Premonition was annoying. We've got a Bidoof. Wonderful card. A Fairy. Grimer. Reverse Hollow Heatran. That is a rare. And Zarud V. Very nice. I'll take it. Can't complain. The amount of stuff we're getting. Cannot complain. Ooh. And you go. Boom. I will take it. I will take it. Two more packs to go. Fitting we're ending on gonna end on a Charizard pack. That's obviously the biggest thing you want to pull from this set. Other than like all the Arceus cards. But to be honest, I've already pulled the um the gold Arceus card, which is honestly, I think, the top card from this set. I've already got it. So, really, I don't need... Oh, this! look at this energy card up here. Oh, my gosh. Look at the look at the top corner. What the heck is that? This one's, like, squared off, too. It's not rounded. It's not bent, either. Weird. That's pretty interesting. I'm going to set that off to the side. Alright, we got a pot helmet, Lexio, Collapse Stadium. But yeah, like I said, I've already pulled the top card from the set. So now all I need is obviously the other top card from the set, which is anything Charizard. Hollow Dusk Noir, and what the heck, look at this. The hollow is going over the entire card. What is this? Are any of the other cards all weird? Like, oh, look at some of these. Some of them are, like, super off-cut. These commons are way too slim on the top. Actually, almost all the cards are like that. Oh, jeez. Look at that. The hollow goes all the way over the whole card. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, error card. Oh, dang. Now I've got a title for this video. Let's go. I'm gonna put that one in the top loader because it's an error. Dang, that's cool. Error pack, error pack. Whoa. It's weird too, I even noticed how the corner on the energy was off. It was weird, and then the end we ended up playing a hollow. And the hollow's printed wrong. Well let me look at the back. I didn't even look at the back. Back looks normal. The borders, honestly, I w at first I thought it was going to be off-centered because these borders look thick, but then I look around and they all look about the same. So I don't know, maybe the borders are thicker too, or maybe I'm just going crazy on that one. That's entirely possible, but I'm definitely not going crazy on that hollow. Y'all can see in there, it's going all the way down. What an interesting pull. It's weird, I haven't noticed that on any of the other packs, anything like that. It looks like it was just this pack. Well, we've got one more, and we'll see if something weird goes on in that pack, too, but that's cool, honestly. I know some people are like, dang, that's lame. It's not, like, legal to use or something because it's an error, but the, I'm personally, like, a collector, so stuff like that's pretty cool to me. All right, we've got the final pack, a Charizard pack. Let's see what we get. One, two, three, and four. We have electric energy. This one looks kind of off too. That corner looks kind of weird. I don't know. Morgrim. Acerola's Premonition. Sigilith. Staryu. Oh, look. No, these ones are slim on the top too. 
Okay, let me go back to one of the other packs. I'll pull a random card out and see if I see anything. This clay doll. Mm, the top may be a little slim. I don't notice it. That's from one of the packs before this one or the last one. Saru. Burn me. Oh, there's something back here. I wonder if it's going to be all weird. Riolu, Magmar, Reverse. No, not Reverse All Impotent. Reverse All Axew and a Grand Bull V. I think I already got this card. Um, It looks normal, though. I don't notice anything off with it. Maybe if it was a hollow, it would be weird again like the last one. But I will definitely take it. That was a good elite trainer box. Even if we didn't get the hollow, like, um, the error hollow card. We pulled, like, at least one thing from, like, almost all the packs. We'll do a quick little recap here of all the things we pulled. But that was good. So we pulled Granbull V, obviously, just pulled that. We also pulled the Dusk Noir, which is an error misprint. The hollow pattern goes all the way down the card. Really weird. We have Zarud V. We've got the Dusk Noir Trainer Gallery card. We have the Whimsicott V Full Art. That's a cool one. And, of course, the Alcremi Trainer Gallery, the first card we pulled from the first pack. Very nice. I definitely cannot complain. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six different things out of eight different packs. So there was only two packs that had nothing in them. I definitely can't complain about that. We pulled a full art. We pulled two trainer galleries. We pulled two regular Vs, which that's crazy just from a normal pack. But then we also had one hollow card in there, a regular one. And then this other um, misprinted hollow card. So we pulled. We definitely did very good. Even if you took away these trainer galleries and like the hollows, the two Vs is. The 2Vs by itself is pretty average. Then you throw in the full art. Then you throw in the trainer galleries. Then you throw in the hollow and the other hollow that's misprinted. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably go find the other hollow that we pulled. See if there was anything off with it. I feel like it was from the first pack. See if there's anything off that I just didn't notice. Oh, the first pack is a Clefable. There's that Claydol I randomly pulled out earlier. Oh, it was the... Oh my gosh, no, look at this! Professor's Research, it does go on the whole thing. So this is just a whole error box, then. Whoa. That's crazy. So it's a whole... The whole box itself is an error box. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I definitely have a title for the video now. Jeez. Well, good thing I went back and checked. Whoa. Some of you probably saw that and noticed it and are going to yell at me or you want to yell at me. Are you yelling at me through the screens? I noticed. I went back and saw it. Imagine if I didn't notice, though. These cards would just go somewhere. That's definitely not supposed to be the case, and they both are doing that. Look, you can see it both right there. They both have the hall pattern going across the whole card. That's crazy weird. Well, it's an error box, I suppose. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Um, and yeah, be sure to stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, it's going to be a big one. I'm about to record it myself, so I'm pretty excited. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night. I already said that, but I'll see you all next time. So, peace out, gamers.